In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix packet loss on PS5, which can cause lag spikes and in-game issues like rubber banding during online play. So the first thing you wanna do is go to settings. From here, we're gonna to go to network and we're gonna to go to settings and set up internet connection. Now select your network and press the options button on your controller and go to advanced settings. Now the first tip I have for you is always use a LAN cable over Wi-Fi as it's going to provide a more stable connection and give you better speeds, which can also result in you getting less packets lost. Now when it comes to these advanced settings, we're going to be changing MTU. Now when it comes to MTU, the default setting is 1500, which is great for people with fast and stable internet connections, but we don't have that. So when it comes to packet loss and connection drops, I recommend you try 1450, see how that goes and see if your internet connection is better while gaming. Now, another thing you could try for users who are experiencing with some issues with latency or ping is 1473. So try 1450 and if that feels good, you could try 1473. If that feels even better, then stick with that. However, I recommend you try both settings. And if your internet connection is fine and dandy, just leave it on 1500. Now that you've done that, let's go back and I want you to press the options button on your controller again, and we're gonna be changing Wi-Fi frequency bands. Now, you don't need to know what these numbers mean, but long story short, if you have a fast internet speed and your PS5 is close to your router, go with five gigahertz. If you have a more slow connection or your PS5 is further away from your router, go with 2.4 gigahertz. And if you're unsure, it's kind of in that middle zone, then just go with automatic. Now, some other things you can do to reduce packet loss or remove it entirely is to perform a power cycle on your router as well as your PS5. This entails unplugging your router and unplugging your PS5 for a couple of minutes and then plugging it back in. And while you're at that, I recommend you actually try a different ethernet port on your router with your LAN cable to see if that helps with packet loss as apparently that can help in some cases. So hopefully this video was helpful. Like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.